Back is Wendy in rare new photos taken after Rahab. Wendy Williams' emaciated form is submerged in a thick fur coat as she clings to her bodyguard's arm. The former talk show presenter was being escorted down the street by her bodyguard while wearing a tan hooded fur coat. Wendy's bulky coat and plush black boots covered up her thin frame. She smiled slyly while wearing pink rhinestone sunglasses that covered her eyes. Her appearance follows her October discharge from a Malibu, California, clinic where she received intensive alcohol addiction treatment. Wendy spent approximately two months in a Malibu health center before being released, according to many sources close to her. We are glad to inform that Wendy Williams is home and healing after being in a wellness facility since August, Wendy's representative Sean Zanotti said in a statement at the time to the U.S. Sun. Wendy's long struggle with alcoholism was at the forefront of her treatment, according to an individual close to her. She has struggled greatly with alcohol over the past few years. She is struggling with severe alcoholism as well as critical health problems. For years, she had been advised by various doctors, if you drink, you'll die. She never really wanted to stop drinking, and those around her in New York have tolerated it added the insider. According to the insider, Wendy has been suffering and making modest progress in recovery after two months of treatment. Since the Wendy Williams show was canceled in June, Wendy has participated in a number of scary and absurd interviews, as fans of her may recall. Since 2019, Wendy has made two public rehab attempts. The formerly well-known TV personality has had a challenging few years. A Wendy insider exclusively revealed to the U.S. Sun that she no longer sees any of her pals and has worries about the viability of her new program. The source pointed out that Wendy's podcast website features a sign-up form where anyone may apply to appear as a guest on her upcoming episode. They said, this sign-up form for random people to appear on her podcast is a little odd, and added they hadn't heard anything about Wendy's new platform being adopted by any significant audio show distributors. The the Wendy Experience podcast will debut in the next few weeks, Wendy announced to the audience when she made an appearance at a local New York radio station WBLS event back in November. However, Wendy's publicist told the U.S. Sun last week in response to a comment request that they wouldn't provide a timeline and would only state it's coming soon. The representative continued, Wendy's podcast is in the planning stages and is taking shape. In order to market herself and her fan base effectively, Wendy is developing a product that is accurate and embodies her. Everything worthwhile takes time. After many health problems, a financial guardian was appointed to manage her finances in May. In June, she formally lost her venerable daytime talk show. The identity of the guardian in charge of Wendy's assets was made public by the U.S. Sun in December. Sabrina Morrissey is a guardianship expert and lawyer. The Guardian, who is in charge of the 58-year-old former TV host's estate, is in charge of deciding who in Wendy's circle is eligible to receive money and payments from her fortune, according to numerous sources and court documents. Wendy's ex-husband, Kevin, asked a judge to force The Guardian to resume his alimony payments in court documents that were previously exclusively made public by the U.S. son in their divorce case. The payments had stopped in February 2022. Her son Kevin Hunter Jr. also made reference to the Guardian's strict control over Wendy's funds when he was forced out of his opulent apartment in September as a result of his mother's finances being frozen in February and his inability to pay the high $6,800.